mind-affecting cat. Item number, SCP-6529. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-6529 is to be kept in a 5x5 room at site, blank, with a bed in it. SCP-6529 is to have two armed guards outside of the containment cell. SCP-6529 is to be fed two times per day. SCP-6529 testing is currently suspended. Description. SCP-6529 is a cat of unknown breed. SCP-6529 is capable of taking control of other humans. SCP-6529 makes people that it takes control of to act like a cat for 24 hours. After 24 hours, the subject affected by SCP-6528 has one hour to live before death. SCP-6529 appears to be unable to control its powers. SCP-6529 was found in a home of a child that died after pretending to be a cat for 24 hours, and subsequently dying an hour later. The SCP Foundation heard of this news. SCP-6529 was found with a few police officers pretending to be a cat. SCP-6529 was put into containment by tricking it with cat toys. SCP-6529 was put into containment on May 26th, blank. Addendum 6529-1. This is an interview with one of the subjects after the 24-hour period of pretending to be a cat. The test subject's name is blank, with Dr. Blank. Dr. Blank. Beginning log now. So what do you think of the cat? Subject blank. Cat is so fucking cute. Feel happy with it, I want to keep it. Dr. Blank. What would you do with the cat if you kept it? Subject blank. If I had it, just pet it. Pet it. Test subject blank repeated that 254 times. Dr. Blank. What do you feel when you act like the cat? Subject blank. I feel weird, but the cat's so fucking cute. Just do it, she's so fucking cute. Five minutes later, test subject blank expired. End log. Addendum 6529-2. SCP-6529 cannot die. Every attempt by the SCP Foundation thus far has failed. Addendum 6529-3 tried to escape twice, with the help of people it controlled. All attempts have failed due to agents recontaining the SCP. 